Hi there, my name is Ashley and in this video I will tell you answers to the question, how can I learn SEO effectively? So if you want to know how to learn SEO step by step, stay tuned because I will give you important steps and tactics to help you do SEO for a small online business. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. And please give the video a like because that motivates me to make more content for you. Thank you very much. Let's get right into it. Whatever the reason you want to learn SEO, you're in the right place. Right now, you are probably a little bit intimidated by what you may have heard about SEO. All this talk of search algorithms and keyword research and reciprocal links can sound a little bit complicated to some people. I want you to relax. Despite all of the technical jargon, the good news is SEO isn't that hard to learn, even if you are a complete beginner. You just have to be willing to put in the time and the effort. I am going to give you some simple steps to follow to help you build your SEO skills from scratch or enhance your existing knowledge. And while I can't promise you a top ranking in Google, I can promise that if you do the work, you'll see results. Before I tell you about the first step on your path to becoming more efficient with SEO, let me tell you quickly what exactly we mean by search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is the process of making your website better for search engines like Google and Bing. In other words, it's figuring out exactly what changes you need to make to your website to make it more relevant to search terms or keyword phrases that your target market are typing into Google. I will start by telling you that the elements of SEO fall under two main categories, on-page and off-page SEO. As you might expect, on-page SEO elements are the parts that are on your website. Let me tell you what these include. These are crawlability and indexability, which is how easy it is for search engines to find and map your content. Next is the content quality and use of keywords. Then you have usability factors such as loading time and responsiveness, known as core web vitals. The next one is mobile responsiveness. This is basically how well optimized your website is for mobile and tablet devices. Then you have EAT. This is more commonly known as expertise, authority, and trustworthiness. Next is the images and the visual content on the website. And after that, you have the tags for the website. Off-page SEO elements, on the other hand, are the ranking factors that come from outside your domain name. This primarily focuses on link building and getting other high quality websites to link to your content. Let me tell you about link building. Link building is the process of acquiring hyperlinks from other websites to your own website. A hyperlink, which is usually just called a link, is a way for users to navigate between pages on the internet. Search engines, like Google, use links to crawl the web. Here is what they do. They will crawl the links between the individual pages on your website, and they will crawl the links between entire websites. I want to tell you that not all links are deliberately built by SEOs or marketers. Many of them will be created for a range of reasons, such as a journalist covering a news story and linking to a source, or a blogger who loves their new coffee machine so they would like to link to the retailer who sold it to them. Getting backlinks that you didn't ask for is the nirvana of SEO. This is something that I suggest that you should be striving for and building towards over the long term. My advice is to do this by putting in the work to make your website link worthy, whether it's through a great product or an aspect of your service. You can also do this by creating and producing great content that is referenced by other websites. 
Alongside this long-term approach, I suggest that you can also leverage a range of link building techniques which allow you to build your authority and increase your chances of ranking well and getting traffic from organic search. Once search engines like Google have crawled pages on the web, they can extract the content of those pages and add it to their indexes. In this way, they can decide if they feel a page is of sufficient quality to be ranked well for relevant keywords. If you want to know more about this, Google has created a short video to explain that process. When they're deciding this, the search engines don't just look at the content of the page. They also look at the number of links pointing to that page from external websites and the quality of those external websites. I want to tell you that generally speaking, the more high quality websites that link to your website, the more likely you are to rank well in search results. Backlinks as a ranking factor are what allowed Google to start dominating the search engine market back in the late 1990s. One of Google's founders, Larry Page, invented PageRank, which Google used to measure the quality of a page based in part on the number of links pointing to it. This metric was then used as part of the overall ranking algorithm and became a strong signal because it was a very good way of determining the quality of a website page. It turned out that by incorporating this into their algorithm, Google was able to serve much more useful and relevant search results than their competitors at that time. Now, if you want to, you can get instant access to further training with my partner website by clicking the link under the video at any time. How else can link building benefit your business? Not only is link building beneficial because it can help contribute towards improved rankings and traffic from organic search, but it also has a range of other advantages which can benefit your business. It's also true to say that links come naturally as a result of other activities where the central goal may not be to generate links. Let me give you an example. If you launch a new product which has never ever been seen before and is truly revolutionary, you'll probably get a lots of links to your website as a result. Or if you create a great piece of content that's designed to be the best guide in your industry, and it actually is, then you're likely to get links as a result. Neither of these activities, creating a great product and creating a great piece of content, will have been done because of the link building benefit, but links are a consequence of the activity. My advice is to build relationships up to build links. Link building can often involve outreach to other relevant websites and blogs in your industry. This outreach frequently relates to the promotion of something that you've just created, such as a piece of content or an infographic. A common goal of outreach is to get a link, but there's much more to it than just this. Outreach can help you build long-term relationships with key influencers in your industry, and these relationships can mean that your business becomes highly regarded and trusted. This in itself is valuable, even if we forget link building for a moment, because you're creating genuine evangelists and advocates for your business. In some cases, you may build relationships with writers or journalists who end up contacting you and asking for your help rather than the other way around. Now that we have got that out of the way, I am going to give you some steps that you can follow for the process of becoming more effective with SEO. Here is the first step. Learn about the basics of SEO on Google. One of the best things about Google is its extensive amount of available information. While they won't give away the secret source of what exactly drives its algorithm, Google is surprisingly forthcoming about what does and doesn't get factored into the rankings. Okay, here is the second step you can take. Step two, dive deeper into the technical side. 
Once you feel confident that you have the fundamentals of SEO down, it's time to move on to more technical concepts. Once again, Google has provided several excellent resources for your educational purposes. One good spot to further your education is the Webmaster Guidelines for maintaining your site's SEO. It can help you get started with intermediate to advanced techniques for boosting your ranking or dealing with other SEO issues. This includes information on how to deal with duplicate content and canonical pages using robots.txt files to tell Google which pages to crawl and index. Building and submitting sitemaps and other ways you can help Google better understand your website. Depending on what type of content you have on your site, you may need to use different strategies to maximize its exposure. Let me give you an example. Videos are a popular form of content requiring extra SEO work to ensure they rank as highly as possible. If you're using anything outside of plain text, and you should be, no one wants to scroll through a wall of text. I suggest that you make sure you check Google's content-specific guidelines when you do this. So, of all the things that I have covered in this tutorial will help you learn more about SEO. If you want to learn more about SEO, make sure you click the link down below the video now and check out the SEO Masterclass online course. This course will help you develop your digital skills and provide you with all the training and the knowledge you need to create a profitable business from start to finish. The link is in the description below the video, so check it out now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please give the video a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will follow up with you. Thanks for watching.